Now, please welcome the actress who did the voice of Mac in Chicken Run, my little sister, Lynn Tweddle, everybody. Lynn Tweddle. This is weird, right? This is my little sister. <laughs> Lynn, hi! Welcome to my show. <laughs> is this really, really your show? Is no, it's really, not really my show. It, it, what it is is that they were outsourcing late night talk shows to other countries <laughs> and I got it in. But you know, remember you told me, that it's just because it, there's a the thing about elaborate jokes. Remember when I was a kid and you told me that Nana Muscuri was a pair of identical twins? <laughs> Do you remember? I'm sorry, I don't understand your accent very well. <laughs> I... Hey, well, I understand yours, so yeah, one no, of us must I'd be say... stupid. No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, loving the show. It's a lovely show, yeah. <laughs> it's really my little sister. It really is. Yeah, yeah I know. I, now, why are you in America, Lynn? I'm here because... <laughs> 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 I'm here because I've been staying at your beach house for ages and now I'm on your television show and it really is a television show. Oh yeah, it really and is. And you know why I came to America though? Why? Well, I actually really wanted to be on your supposed uh, television show because... It is a, te I do it's a television show. It's not a television it's show. It's a television it's not, show. It's not, you know what I mean? No, it's not a television show. Why? Because mum told me, she said to me, right, she right. said, went to America... She went, was... Went, she went, was went, went, <laughs> went to America, me. went on your brother's television show and I was like, yeah, Nana Muscuri are twins. No! And... Remember you told me I was adopted? For you were you? adopted! Look at us! She Look was adopted! So much. See, you told me... You were adopted by people that looked a bit like us. <laughs> you told me I was adopted and I said, I'm not adopted, I'm going to go and tell Mum. And you said, she'll only say no, because she doesn't want to hurt your feelings! feelings. Exactly! <laughs> and you went and asked her, what did she say? No. Exactly. <laughs> anyway... Why is your name Tweddle and my name Ferguson? Actually, I wish you hadn't done that. Why? Oh, because your name is Ferguson. Yeah, well, no, my name's Tweddle, but when I... No, you got married? Yeah. To a guy called Tweddle? Well, I loved him. I still love him sometimes. <laughs> You've but... always been the black sheep of the family. <laughs> <laughs> That's Scott. Right? Oh, yeah, that is Scott. Scott's That's... our brother. Yeah. Uh... You can do that one. No, I came and Mum said, well, Mum said, I've done Craig's show. And I said, yeah, Craig's show, like Nana Muscuri being twins no, and no, everything. No. Wait, wait. Right. And then she said, no, I was on Craig's show and I met a lovely guy from the Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah, Rizza. Yeah, yeah, that's right. My mum was hanging about with Rizza when she was here from the Wu-Tang. <laughs> she really, they keep in touch. Really, they do. <laughs> Rizza was doing a big concert in Scotland and Mum called me up from the, that old folks home place and she said, I hear the Wu-Tang are coming to Scotland. Don't do that. Me and some of the arthritis care ladies would like to go. Can you make sure there's some rock? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But they really did. They really, they really got on very well, which just proves, you see, that different cultures mesh in America. There. So you should come and live here. Am I adopted? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not really. Look at you. Yeah, I mean, people used to think that we looked like each other. Clearly, no, we don't. No, you know, no, no. Worse. What? Worse. People used to think that we were each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And mean? you know, yeah, yeah. Because they thought that, like, because they used to go, why are you and Craig never seen in the same room? Like that. <laughs> and as well, when people over here, they go, yeah, Craig Ferguson show. Hi. Why are you and Craig never, never seen in the, the same, same room? room? Well, here we are. We've just built... So, I, well, yeah, no, they thought I was you dressed in drag, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm me. I have been known, though. Uh, to be fair, I have been known to put on a dress yeah, well, every no, now and again. I know again. that. I know that. And now yeah. you do it for a living, too. I do do it for a living. It's like crazy. It's actually just a huge, elaborate ploy to try and entice Eddie Murphy onto the show. That's really what it is. Yeah. Shut up! My sister! Make her feel welcome, for heaven's sakes! Uh, is that true about this? No, I, of course not, allegedly. I don't know. Well, now listen, what do you make of DreamWorks saying, yeah, we can show a clip of the movie, but only if you give us 3,000 bucks? What the hell is that? Yeah. Did they give you any money for no, that? Well, didn't. let's get you in the movie as well. That's you there, isn't it? Yeah. You that know, one. Auntie Jenny said to Mum, she said, God, how long was Lynn in makeup for? Is it really? <laughs> 
Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. Our family are mad, you know that. Yeah. Here, why am I on here? Eh? Can I publicize my shows and stuff? Can sure, I do yeah, if you want, I'm you do. Book, yeah? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not doing any shows here, and no, I'm staying over there. I'm not we, we, the show doesn't go out in Britain. No, I know that, but some Americans come to Britain, don't they? I, I think we stopped doing that. <laughs> After we got rid of the Nazis for you guys, we kind of were done. That was it. Because you're American now, aren't you? I am, yeah. I'm you're American really citizen. American. I'm really American. Really? Go back to your own country. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, I, I'm very, very happy about it. It's good, but it's weird. No, you see, you don't have to stop Because being... we've got Scottish faces, haven't we? We've got big Scottish faces. Some people in America have Scottish faces, well, too. <laughs> I know, yeah. and I went to Disneyland yesterday, saw some amazing shaped Americans. Yeah, yeah, you... you. <laughs> Careful, you're a guest here. I you're know, a guest here. But they're like their own countries, yeah, these no, Americans. No, no, be, no, no, that's true, but there's no need to point it out. On things called rascals? Yeah, yeah, they have rascals there too. They are not, yeah. that's the wrong name for what they're called. No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a no. low-speed motorcycle. Yeah, but yeah, a yeah. rascal's like a little cheeky thing, isn't it? No, a rascal, yeah. It's like, a, oh, you cheeky rascal. That's not, it's not a cheeky rascal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just write that down. <laughs> Welcome back, my cheeky rascals. <laughs> All right. Good. Len, we have to get on with the right, show okay. properly. So, um, so no, no, wait there right, until okay. I do all that pretend I talk to you when the commercials go. All right. All right. <laughs> My little sister, Len Ferguson, everybody. Where are we? Where are we? This being the day that it is, uh, I didn't want to have any uh, movie stars or celebrities or uh, uh, the usual people that we have on the show. Um, well, oh, all right, we never really have movie stars. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep it family because it's a different show, um, but then I ended up getting a movie star anyway. Ooh. Yes. Please welcome my little sister, Lynn Ferguson, everybody. <laughs> I, you know what I like? What? I like that they've that they gave me a card with questions on it Go to ask them. my sister. Oh, uh, how are you today, Lynn? I'm okay. Well, what are the questions? Come on, I want to. No, the I never look at the questions. It's bad luck. I have them make questions so that, uh, <laughs> that I can ask questions if I don't, you know, if I, I, I always tear the thing up. I'm not comfortable asking questions for other people. Uh, aren't you in the wrong job then? No, it's a very good job for me. Hey, listen, well, I like your, are they new shoes? They're my new shoes and I was really worried that I couldn't walk in them. <laughs> I, I can walk in them. They're good though, aren't they good? Uh, I, I am. Thank you. Here, look, your what? button's undone. Don't do that. People will talk. What are they going to talk about? Well, you know, no, you know no, family no, it's things. A, that's, uh, that's, so how are you? Have a nice, are you having right. a nice time in I America? I am having a lovely time in America. You're not originally from America, no, I believe. No, I'm not originally from America. <laughs> Can I tell you my America story? Sure, why I not? I have an America story. I was doing the Edinburgh Festival. You're very American so far. Right. Was it Edinburgh, stop, Texas? Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> You can't, you can't invite me on your show and talk at yes, me. Can, no, yes, no, can, no, yes, no, 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 can. My show, my show, my show, my show. Right, okay, get your questions out. Get, get your questions out. Hold on. <laughs> they better be good. So you did the voice in Chicken Run yeah, of the chicken. Yeah, I did, I did, yeah. I Mac did the chicken. Scottish chicken. I did that chicken, yeah. Do you know what that really worries Tell us your American story. No, I'm going to tell you the thing that really worries me. I'm sorry, I don't understand your well, accent. Shut up, oh, I understand. <laughs> I'm really worried, right? I'm really worried. This is true. Sometimes I worry that I'm going to die of bird flu. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because if I die of bird flu, then they'll put this thing on the papers, which is Chicken Run Star dies of bird flu. <gasps> Do you know what I mean? And then I just start that. That would be it. terribly embarrassing. After you're dead! <laughs> it wouldn't matter! It wouldn't matter to me. Wouldn't matter to me. I, I... Anyway, let me do my American story. All right, okay. Right, so in, in Edinburgh. Very American very so American, far. Very American. Right. There was Americans on before my show, 
an American zone after. Like, so you were in a venue where there was lots of different people appearing throughout the day. Yeah. And I have to translate this. And the uh, <laughs> there was some American performers on, then there was you, yeah, then yeah. there was some more American performers on. That's right. Right. You've got that right. Okay. Right. The ones who were on after me. The they... ones. I don't even start this. Just because you've got your green card, don't oh, no, you get I'm... all Burt Lancaster with me? Citizen now. You're a citizen. Yeah, that's right. I can have you arrested. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell us a story. So, what for? What would you get me arrested for? Fabulousness. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> You can so feel you're... the air go cold there yeah, and get yeah. me arrested for a while. No, I would get you secret. arrested. No, because I know that those days are Do you are know, backstage, you. they're just going, do stories about Craig when he was a kid. Tell embarrassing stories. No, no. Because I'm going, no. well, what am I going to speak about? And they go, well, just, just do stories about him. No, no, don't do that. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, do. Do you, know, do you remember you used to do, because when you did the flock of seagulls thing there? I don't I, need you to tell this story. I'm telling you. <laughs> Because you used to annoy me by doing the flock of seagulls like that round out. Uh, he's been doing that joke for like years, right? <laughs> the other thing that he used to do, and this is how we in our family knew he was really weird. Do you remember that you, he used to take the soliloquies of William Shakespeare <laughs> and put them to the tune of Elvis Presley songs? <laughs> you did! It you might did. have worked! It might have you, worked! You did! You did! Go, do, 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 right. Do, now is the winter of our discontent, right, to the tune of Good Luck Charm. Because remember, I banned you from that, right? Do it, do it. Go, do it. And then I'll speak after that, right? You do it. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this house of York. Yeah, that's more of that. <laughs> Now tell me your American story. You're on a, you're on in a, a, a what do you call it? A... I was on in a theatre. Right. Right. And the people that were on before, well, there was a guy on before me. He was American. He was horrible. Th th that's the only one. What the only horrible American? Yes. I don't believe that. You're a guest I... in this country, madam. What's your manners? <laughs> I don't believe that. Right. Anyhow, right? Um, and I was going to talk politics there, but I don't know anything don't about, talk politics. about politics. I don't know anything about politics. Good. I don't Nobody even else know. does either. Doesn't uh. stop him. <laughs> so there was a guy on before me who was American, and he was horrible, and he kept like overrunning his show. And he said, right? He said to the people who were running the venues, he said that Irish girl. I, I know, mm. and I like Irish people. And that Irish girl, she's like cranky with me. And so I got really angry. Is it this American man from the valley and a girl? He was Indian. He was Indian. Yeah. No, but anyway, he, uh, he said uh, that he was ang I was Irish and he was angry at me and he thought that I was crazy. And I said, well, I said to his manager, I said, you tell that Irish guy, the, the, you tell that American guy yeah, yeah. that this Irish woman has an Irish brother who does a show in America and he's an American citizen now and he's going to pull his head off if he annoys me again. Don't say that. Why? Because <laughs> I... I what, you have a good fighter once. Shut up. You wear a good Shut fighter Shut up. You, Shut up. Listen, you Look, have, well, here's what's happening out there in America. Well, oh, really? Good fighter? <laughs> Let's see how good you really are. I wasn't a good fighter. I was just drunk. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. You get... You still get drunk quite a lot, don't you? I don't get drunk. You do, you do. I this do. is an intervention. No. I... You know what? I've got a really bad cough, and when I go back to Scotland, I'm leaving you my cold. <laughs> I do not get drunk a lot. I don't. I've really? got kids. No. I've got kids, and you've been showing my child on your television thing. I, I thought it was you Phil don't... Collins. I thought it was Phil Collins. <laughs> look, was it, we have a picture of don't Lachlan. Do, uh, do we have a picture? No, look, I thought it was Phil Collins. <laughs> I know. You know what worries me, though? What is it? What do you worry What worries me is I got a bigger clap for my shoes than I did for my baby. I'm like, no, oh, that's my baby. Show my baby again. Go on. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what about my shoes? There's my shoes. No, no, no. Actually, they didn't get much this is, this is Los Angeles. Shoes are more important than children. <laughs> I do miss them, actually. It's yeah, weird. no. Well, you've been here for, since when? Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staying at my house? Yeah. When are you going home? I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home tomorrow. I'm really? going home tomorrow, yeah. No, that's nice. I just came over. <laughs> you like 
like me there. You do. I do like you there. You're lots of fun. You you know you get drunk. Every bring out very old. I do so. I do so not get. I do not you get. You are drunk. such an old soak. I am so. Yeah, you are. You like to drink. I do. <laughs> ask me some questions. You know, you can't make me fly five thousand miles and then not ask me questions. All right. Ask me when questions. you did the Chicken Run film. Right. right? Okay. Uh, did you and Mel Gibson go out and get drunk together? No. <laughs> no. All right. What else? Come on. That's it? That's what, uh, no, we didn't. I didn't even get to meet Mel Gibson. Really? Yeah, I didn't get to meet Mel Gibson because he wouldn't come over. Most of it was done in London and he was in Mexico. He did his recording in Mexico. All right. And my friend Julia, who played like the, the lead chicken. Right. She had to go, you know, she went to uh, Mexico to do stuff with Mel and she smokes uh -huh. and they wouldn't let her smoke. And uh, then Mel came in and, and, and he was smoking away and so she got her cigarettes out and she was smoking too. So she smoked cigarettes with Mel Gibson? Yeah. And she said, you know what she said? What? Well, she said he had 10 bodyguards and he's only got one body and that's tiny. <laughs> you, listen, hey, you can't badmouth Mel Gibson on this show, lady. <laughs> Why? Because we enjoy celebrities here. I am not bad. How, why, how is that bad mouth? It's I'm not. So now listen, tell me well, about the uh, um, the Bad Mothers Club. Oh, how do you know about that? Because you told me about know, it already. Tell can't. me about it again. No, you can't. <laughs> Lynn is a bad mothers club. I'll tell you about it. Lynn is a bad yeah. mothers club. And what happens is that all the mothers where she ha she lives in London and all the mothers have got kids, they all get babysitters on a Thursday night and go to Lynn's house and get drunk. <laughs> And they call it a club. It's not a club, it's just an excuse to get hammered. <laughs> Technically that's true, but it's a Wednesday night and it's a bar. You go to a bar? We go to a bar. Ladies in a bar? It's fantastic. Really? Yeah, because it's all women with anoraks and big shoes, and then if a man comes in, we go, get lost, like that. <laughs> and, they all get, and the thing that's with, if you've got small kids, yeah. It's really difficult to have a conversation because you're always going like, get your fingers out that electricity point and, <laughs> you know, don't eat the dog and stuff like that, right? So you have all these women who are so used to having to deflect all the time and not have a conversation. The conversations are fantastic. You can be talking about mortgages and, like, foundation and uh, yeast infections and, like, <laughs> all manner of stuff. Don't do that. You've had yeast infections. But shut up! <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. I fell on some flour. And then it got hot and I was in a temperate climate. <laughs> Things happen. Everybody gets yeast infections. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a yeast infection. How could you even say that to me? How can you come over here and come on your brother's show and accuse me of having a yeast infection? Not... In any way, by the way, that I'm saying that I'm judging uh, yeast-infected Americans. <laughs> prove to me you've never had a yeast infection. I cannot! Well, I cannot prove! No, how can anyone prove that? That's so stupid. I'm, I'm ashamed to call you my sister. <laughs> I shut your face. You'll have my cold next week. Mm. Um, I don't understand that accent anymore, I'm telling you. I know. And you know, when I went back to London after being here the last time, everyone said, why do you speak with an American accent? Yeah. I don't know, do I? Do I speak with an American well, accent? I think we're all, we can... You, the only thing that would unite this country at this point in time is that all, we're all agreed that you do not speak with an American accent. Uh, well, anyway, we've got, we got to go. This is my little sister, Lynn, everybody. She'll be back. Time for Sean Connery's Parisian Memories. I love cheese. I love smelling it. I love serving it and eating it. But most of all, I love cutting it. <laughs> That's the good stuff. That was Sean Connery's Parisian Memories. I love that guy.